Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Glitzy Gem or Stephanie, whichever name you want to call me. Thank you for clicking on my video. Thank you for watching. And for those who are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, give my video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel a lot. And for those who have been subscribed, thank you for being part of my Glitzy community. I just, there's no words to express how much I appreciate you guys. I do giveaways um, on a regular basis. Now lately I've been doing that. And I appreciate all you know, my subscriber base is growing and hang in there. And I got you, my subscribers. I got you. And for those who are stumbling across my video, just happen to click on my video. Thank you for doing that. I really do appreciate it. That means you, you love watching this kind of content. And um, yeah, it's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. And then you'll be putting on giveaways as well. So go ahead and subscribe like my video as well and click on the notification bell that way you'll get more notifications when i upload another video so in today's video we're going to go ahead and do two unboxings um i thought they were going to be in baggings but they're going to be unboxings so um but before we do that i'm going to go ahead and give you um a little try on of this look that i have wearing today using my previous ipsy uh flash sale items that i used in this video yeah i had purchased those in my flash sale in September and um, I will go ahead and add that card up here so you can watch that video if you haven't done so go ahead and watch it now if you like or you can wait until we get to the try on part you can see the items that were already in my ipsy bag for the flash sale so so what are we doing let's stop rambling on and let's get to the good part okay so this is the try on portion of the ipsy bag um, I already put foundation and contour and bronze my face and I put highlight in areas that I needed to highlight. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with my Auto Bomb Girl Powder. And it's a uh, Cheeks on the on the Go um, by the Bomb Blush. So I'm going to try it. It's really pretty, really neat. It's Bourbon Street. It has that really nice uh, mauve with pink undertones, nude uh, blush so let me try some on Ooh, it's coming on really good like what I barely even tapped the pan and it's already it's already wow yeah it's already very pigmented coming on my, my my cheek very pigmented I love this brand Autobomb okay and not bad for a trial for a deluxe or a trial size or not sample size okay so oh I was blurry there I'm sorry I'm sorry Here we go. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's the reason why this side looks darker because I just went on without petting, without tapping the excess off. And that's the reason why it looks more darker than this side. Okay. So the next item I'm going to use to do my eyes is the Wondrous by Wonder Beauty uh, Seascape eyeshadow palette. And I'll come right back on to do that with you guys. Okay. I'll be right back. Next with my eyeshadow palette here is uh, the Wonder Beauty Wondrous Seascape palette. I'll go ahead and create an eye look with this. Let's do a swatch of this. Oh my gosh, look at the beautiful colors. Oh, they're so beautiful. Okay, so let's swatch these. Okay, starting from 
from right to left. This is the shade Sand Dollar Sea Foam. And this is Coastal Sand Dollar Sea Foam and Coastal. Wow, look at that. Beautiful blues. Okay, the next shade is a um, from right to left is going to be um, Champagne Arbor. Okay. Sea salt, sea salt right here. And this is Golden Reef. Wow, I love these shimmer, these shimmer shades. They look like shimmer metallic shades. So this is going to be the shade uh, Champagne Arbor. Ooh, nice glowy. Looks like a nice, could be good for like an inner corner highlight. The next one is um, Sea Salt. Here, the next one is called Golden Reef. And those are all the shades from this palette. Ooh, that's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, I love the reflex on these. They're, they have like this, um, I don't know, they, they're uh, like foiled shade. They're like fold shades, and I love fold shade shimmers. Okay, so let's go ahead and create an eye look with this. I'm going to go ahead and put on my primer. I'm going to use any primer right now. I, I guess I'm using my um, eyeshadow hard candy primer. My, you know, my oldie, my oldie but goodie eyeshadow primer, which I think it's running low, running low of, running low of primer. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna apply it on my eye. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do an eye look. Alright, there's just so many nice colors in here. Okay, um Okay, let me start off with uh let me start with coastal yes i know let me see how this looks i'll pack it on a little bit maybe shade coastal and then blend it out let's pack it on on the outer portion of my eye And just kind of smooth it out this is a packing brush plus it I, I think also blends it has those brush, bristles where you can blend the shade out so that's what I'm doing I love this shade coastal so beautiful so yeah I'm gonna blend this top portion out just blend it out How beautiful that looks. Oh, I love that blue shade. The blue shade. You are beautiful. You are beautiful to me. That's not bad. The formula for this Wonder Beauty eyeshadow is not bad. It's pretty good, actually. Their formula is pretty good. Yeah, this formula is pretty good. I can't stress. I can't stress that enough. I didn't think it was gonna be that good, but it is. I'm telling you guys, it is that good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a different shade. I don't know where I'm gonna go with this. Like, what kind of look I look I'm going for? If it's smoky, natural, or just was I blurred out the whole time? I was burned out the whole time, wasn't I? <laughs> I'm so sorry, my gems. So sorry for that. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my other shade. And the shade that I'm going to go in with is um, Golden Reef, which is this gold shade here at the top. And I'm going to put that in the corner. 
I mean the corner. The crease. I'll put that in the crease using the same brush. It's all right. I'm just gonna blend that out with the coastal blue shade. Isn't that so lovely? It's blending with the blue. Ooh, I'm gonna put more blue. More blue out here. That's gonna blend out. And that golden reef has like um glitter sparkles in them. Yeah, the glitter sparkles in them. Ooh, it's pretty. I love glitter. Yeah. Like the camera wants to focus, but it's not focusing how I want it to focus. Okay, there we go. Now it's better, huh? You're focused in a little bit more. So there we have these two shades blended out. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do my lid shade. I'm gonna use the same brush. Why not? It's gonna be my. Uh, it's gonna be sea foam. My lid shade. Kind of blend it in together, uh, mix it, put it in the mix there with the golden reef and the coastal shade. All right, my gem. Sorry, my video cut off there, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this look here with um, that silver sea foam shade. And I will blend this, I don't know, this uh, golden reef out my corner to above the lid there, above the, the crease, by the eyebrow bone area. And maybe get some more blue and blend that out as well. <clears throat> So this is how it's looking now. Ooh, really nice. I love the nice um, foiled shade. Looks almost like a grungy look. <clears throat> I feel like I need to. This needs to blend out a little higher because this side up here, my left side looks like it's more blended out. Like it's more blown out than this side, so I'm, I'm trying to fix that. Excuse any background noise. That's my my baby. That's my baby snowball there. So excuse any background noise if you ever hear any scratching or anything like that. Okay, so this is how it's looking now. This is how my eye look is looking now. So let me come off camera. Go ahead and finish the rest of my eye look, and I'll be right back. Okay, my gems. So this is the eye look finishing look. From the try on, I went ahead and I used my um, Wondrous Wonder Beauty palette. I got some falsies on. <laughs> They're pretty long, aren't they? But yeah, this is the look I created with my Wondrous Wonder Beauty. And I had some, I, I put some um, eyebrow product on my eyebrows. And um, what else can I say about this look? I put some eyeliner at the bottom of my waterline. Um, yeah, so now let's move on to the lip. So 
this part of the lip, I'm going to use my context. And this is in the shade Sweet Emotion. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. No lip liner, no nothing. I'm just going to put it on. Mmm. It's a beautiful color. It's like a uh, reddish brown terracotta shade. It smells like coconut. Okay. Now for the finishing touches. For this try on is my earrings. How my earrings? <laughs> and I'm gonna take off this headband and I will put my hair down and give it a go. Matches my necklace. Let me, get you out. Let me, zoom, let me zoom, you out. zoom you out. My necklace, my earrings, my blouse, my blouse. My blouse has the little rings around it that match my necklace and my earrings. So this is how I look zoomed out. Wow. Okay. I look little zoomed out. Probably a better view for you guys, right? You don't have to be seeing my full mug right up front. But uh, yeah, those were all the products that I got in my flash sale. Not all of them. I didn't use my um, my other one. It was the um, it was this one. Let me show you. The other product that I had in my flash sale was this lipstick here by Bell and Argent. It was the lip color, the tr the Uter matte. It was this shade here. I did swatch this, and I swatched it in my last, in my actual video, my flash sale video when I did that. And um, this, I love this shade. I will use this in another video, maybe when I do another, maybe a try on, or whenever I do like a, um, a, a makeup tutorial. And then it came with this. It came with this. Ink, ink readable smile in your. It's a jelly shot lip quencher. This is the one that I showed you guys that had a little flower inside. Inside the the lipstick, it had a little flower that they had molded inside the lipstick, the lip balm. And this does give you like that peppermint feeling well when I swatch it I, I'm doing this because I had swatched it on my arm whenever I first uh, for the flash sale video I swatched this on my arm and it started to feel give, giving me the, like that peppermint feel like it was it was actually you know when it was penetrating my skin it was uh, I was feeling that peppermint feel it started to feel then it started to feel itchy afterwards so I, I, I think there's something in here that's giving me an allergic reaction you know, uh, there's an ingredient in here, or maybe that ingredient that actually um, that gives that peppermint feel to to your. I don't know if it's that ingredient or some ingredient in there that's actually uh, caused me to have a rash. It gave me a rash, so I, I'm not going to use that, and I'm not going to, and I don't recommend anybody using it. I think, I think, um, I'm not sure. I mean. I'm not very sensitive on my arms when it comes to makeup and stuff like on my hands I'm not too sensitive or get rashes that quick on my on my hands um, I do want I do on my face but on my hands I don't get like I guess my skin is tougher on my on my hands and back of my hand and um, it has thicker skin and I don't get rashes or an allergic reaction that easily on my on my hand unless it's a really strong formula and it's penetrating and it's 
it gave me a rash so I don't I wouldn't recommend it for anybody to get this um, y'all can try it out if you, I mean it's called X Revenge that's the shave mane I don't know if you can see it from there probably not called X Revenge and it's by that incredible company. Sorry, I had it upside down. It's by that incredible company and it's this lip balm with that flower inside it. I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. I wouldn't. I just wouldn't recommend it because it gave gave me an allergic reaction on my on my hand and just I just wouldn't want anybody else to get that reaction I mean if if you want to try it out maybe it'll it'll react differently towards your skin but with my skin on my on my hand swatch it did give me an allergic reaction I was having a rash so but um yeah I'm not gonna use that because I it really was um it really it was uh how do you say it it was it was very bothersome at the same time and I think I started to have a cough and I started to feel like out of breath but I don't I don't want to say that that's that's what caused me to have all that all those issues it almost felt like I was having like like an anaphylactic but a mild anaphylactic one where I don't need like the anaphylactic shot or anything but I did feel like my throat was getting a little like inflammated so I did I did have a cough drop and I did um you know, I, you know, I, I did do like a little home remedy where I got like a, a lemon wedge and I did suck on the lemon wedge and that kind of soothed, you know, the, the feeling in my, in my throat of, and you know, like it was getting inflammated. I don't know, but, um, yeah, I just wouldn't recommend that to anybody. Um, I just, like I said, you can try it for yourself if you like, but. That's the end of this try on. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked my try on here and my eye look that I created with that palette. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of my try on. So I'll go ahead and let you move on with the with the unbaggings and unboxings. So I do have some boxes that I ordered from Ipsy that are like from the Glam Bag Plus and they're um or maybe it's an unbagging like bags, you know, they're in bags. So I'll let you see that, all right? Didn't want to take too long on this try on this time in this video so you can see more of the other products that I did receive. I'm my gems, so I'll see you here shortly. Okay, my gems, so you saw the try on portion of this video, which I like so much. Thank you for watching that. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the first box here. And we're going to go ahead and open this up and see what's inside. Let's see which box this is. I had Ipsy Fever and I just went up Ipsy shopping. <laughs> so we see here we have this, this nice teal bag, aqua, almost like an aqua colored bag. It's in the faux leather. It has studs on them, silver studs, and it has that neon fluorescent yellow stitching on the zipper. And the zipper's hardware is silver. So as you can see, it has that neon green or yellow stitching on the zipper. And it has that zipper is like a silver hardware. Also comes with the silver ring on the zipper gripper here. And it also is, it has a tag, a faux leather tag. And it usually would say the name Ipsy on it, but it doesn't have it on this one which is fine and this is my illuminating set for $16 uh, the value is $91.75 for this bag so the inside you're also getting the same color as the zipper and the stitching of the zipper here which is like that fluorescent green shade I said yellow but it's green and it has the ipsy tag right here really nice really nice bag and I believe this bag also belonged to the month of um, March I believe 
if I'm mistaken, please comment me down below and let me know which bag this was. I, I believe it's the one from March. Yeah. So let's look at what's inside this bag. So first off, it's the illuminating set. So it's not really a glam bag that they had. It was something the Ipsy offers or the, yeah, it wasn't a mystery bag. It was in the Ipsy offers. They didn't have it. Yeah, that's what it was. It was under the Ipsy offers. So I was going to say uh, popular picks, but it wasn't in popular picks. It was in Ipsy offers. So it was on that. So it comes with a, a Llama Squaw lipstick. Get y'all closer. That way I can see if you are getting focused in on the names of these products and if you're really seeing. Um, so this is the shade Solar. And I just want to make sure you're getting... Um, the look of the packaging that's why I got you up closer so it has a really nice detail up here it reminds me of the Yves Laurent detail detailing for the Llama Squaw it really looks kind of like high-end like high-end lipstick packaging on there and this is the shade solar looks like a melon cantaloupe shade of lipstick maybe some pink in there this does look like it might be a little too bright for my skin complexion and I I'm not sure how I feel about the the formula on the lipsticks I've never tried their lipsticks before and I'm tempted to swatch it but if it's not gonna be worth if, if the color's not gonna be good for me I, I don't want to swatch something that I might I might not even use so I might just put this in a giveaway the next thing in my box here is called the Beauty Crop. It is a, a shade Halicon. It's an eyeshadow. So let's open this up. Did I show you the packaging? Oh, I don't think I showed you the packaging. So this is the packaging, front and back, and it does have plastic wrapping around it. So hopefully it didn't take me forever to unwrap this. It didn't. Thank goodness. Thank goodness it didn't take too long for me to unravel that. So let's open the packaging up. And it's this nice olive shade that I will swatch. I am I am interested in seeing how the beauty crop formula feels Okay, feels smooth. Feels smooth, almost kind of. I don't know, like it's like it's. I don't want to say like it's damp, but it feels smooth. And I'm um, gonna go ahead and swatch it on my arm, on my arm, on my hand here. And this is the shade I'm getting. So I'm interested in seeing how this will illuminate my eye look. So the next item here we have is the Tiati London Glow 2 Illuminating Blush. And I already have this blush. I have it in the shade Matchmaker. This is in the shade Pinch Me. So a new collection to my Tiati London. Okay. New collection to my Tiati London blushes. And we'll be opening her up. And see how it looks like. This is how the packaging looks like from the outside. It says Yate Linden. It says the name of the shade. Okay, let's open this up. Ooh. Nice. Looks like that peppermint starlight hard candies. Reminds me of those. And it looks like a nice peachy shade. I like peachy shades. It's light. And it's also supposed to be illuminating. So the next thing I have here is the Lovecraft Beauty uh, bronzer. Ooh, bronzer. I haven't had a bronzer. Well, I do have a palette with a bronzer in it and some blush, but I haven't used it yet. This is the Suniva shade. Suniva. Okay, 
Let's go ahead and open this up and see how this bronzer looks like. It's a nice shade, nice shade bronzer here. Goodness. This is a nice shade bronzer. It has a nice mirror, nice size mirror here. Yeah, like that. The last item in this box, best for last, right? <laughs> this is my Ofra. Ooh, Ofra Cosmetics. We have the Ofra by Nikki Tutorials Highlighter Glow Goals. Let's open this up. I'm not gonna swatch it or anything. I just want you to see how beautiful this shade looks. Isn't she lovely? Hmm. Isn't she lovely? That's my girl, isn't she lovely? Yes, it's a beautiful shade. Okay, so we're done with this box. We're gonna go with the next unboxing. So I think everything were winners for me in this in this bag except for the Llama Squaw lipstick shade. I really don't think the shade is gonna flatter my skin tone. I do not want to use this. I I am dying to find out how the formula feels and um but uh i rather not i rather not do that i rather just put it in the giveaway like i mentioned so even though i'm tempted to find out which i am not going to because i know that shade will not I, I've, I've had shades like that they do not suit my skin at all so my next box it's the Ipsy Everyday Makeup Essential. I paid $28 for it and it values at $105.99. Really good value. And here it is. Ready? Okay, so we're gonna go, go ahead and open this baby up. <clears throat> okay, so ooh, I'm seeing some good items in here. So first off, what caught my attention were these lashes. Got lashes here. They look pretty nice as well, too. I think I've got them upside down. <laughs> They're the magnetic 3D foam ink eyelash. Ditto. Five minute application, 15 words. No glue needed. Apply with ditto mag magnetic eyeliner. I don't think this has the eyeliner in it, but I like me some magnetic. Um, you see, it has a little spot where they could have put like a little magnetic eyeliner in there, but there there isn't any. I'm kind of disappointed on I'm kind of disappointed on that because I really would have liked to have had the magnetic eyeliner. So now I have to go buy me I have to go buy me a magnetic eyeliner. It may not be from this brand, and I'm hoping that it, it'll it'll suit any type, any brand eyeliners. So if that's the case, then I'll I'll be happy. I'll just buy the the magnetic eyeliner and and pop these on and see if they if they stay on with that different name brand magnetic eyeliner. So yeah, hope I'll be able to wear these because. I want, I want to try these. I never tried magnetic lashes. The next thing in this here, we have this Do Me by Estate. This is one that I've already had. It's called the, in the shade Bye. It's in the shade Bye. Yes, so it's a highlighter. I already have this highlighter. I loved it a lot. It reminds me of the Ofra um, formula. And it really flattered. It, this one did flatter my skin tone. It did. It really did. So I was ha I'm happy with that. The next item here is a Tarte Tartiest um, Double Take Eyeliner. Liner Double Effect. Let me see in the shade black. Let me see what kind of pin this is. I hope it's the one with the eyeliner at the end and then the pill tip at the other end. Yep, it is. This is the gel liner in one end. <clears throat> this is the felt tip eyeliner on the other end. Yes, this is what I was hoping for. I got this one because I think this was in my, um, I think it was, they were asking me if I wanted to get this as one of my choice items for the month of October. And I didn't get it 
for the simple fact where I think they were selling it on no no I think they were selling it in their um, add-ons and I was tempted to add this on there because I, I didn't think I had one but I'm glad I didn't because I do have one I do have one the next thing here is the triple shot triple X mascara by Ciate London is in the shape black XXL and let's see how this looks like. I think I already have one of these. If I'm mistaken. One or, I think I have more than just one. So I'll be giving this in a, another giveaway. Another giveaway probably for December or January. We'll see. But this is how the packaging looks like. Ooh. I already have plenty of these. So I'm, I'll, I'm going to see how this. Ooh. I love this wand applicator because it, it goes. It's thin. And I like those for my bottom, my bottom lash line. So me and these will get along me and this one will get along and we have this uh dose of colors what is it sweet and sassy liquid liquid matte lipstick again like the other lipstick from llama squaw it's that orangey cantaloupe shade that does not look good on me it does not so this is how it looks like i will not be swatching this I'll be putting this in a giveaway. This will look great on, on my uh, doctor, my doctor. This will look great on my darker complected gems out there uh, for deeper skin tones or even the fair shaded ones. But for my skin tone, it will not go well. I mean, if you're very fair shaded, I think this would look good. Um, but I, I believe it looks better like on, on, on darker skin tones. So I'll be putting this in a giveaway for my sisters my dark skin gems okay so the last item in this box i have here is by morphe i have a morphe product all right it's a high impact highlighter it's in the shade spark so we'll see if it sparks me all right you know anything from morphe coming from ipsy i like <laughs> So here we go. This is how the packaging looks like. Ooh, I, feel, I feel, I feel bougie. I feel like, like one of those YouTubers who, who, who are like, who get Morphe brands and all that, who are in their PR and all that. I feel like them now. So oh, look, oh, this is so beautiful. Look at the shade. Look at this beautiful shade. And it shimmers. It, right now, probably the light is not giving it the best justice. But it does have a really good shimmer to it. And I do not want to swatch it. Because I do not want to start its shelf life. So I will not swatch this. But um, I will be using this for sure. So yeah. That's it for all my unboxings. Thank you for watching. Um, I might try some of these products on in my next video. So stay tuned for that. Alright. Well I love you my gems. Y'all take care. Have a good night or good day. Whichever part of the world you're in, have a good day.